Okay, to begin, this is the fourth video. It will be divided into three to four parts. The reason being is that I'm bouncing off of TJ Styles' fourth video, but I want my videos short, and one reason I want them short is for quick reference. I don't want to have to watch 15 minutes of a video to find what I'm looking for. So I'm basically using these videos to sort of index and, again, for quick reference. Okay, to begin, let's open a new file. Uh, I want to point something out that was missed on previous videos. Now, you'll notice my foreground color is black. My background color is white. So I want to select background color for that background color to show up properly. Okay. Now I'm going to change it to black and create a new photo just to show you. Background color. So now the background color is black. Okay. Open up your history panel for your undos. Get ready. Now to begin, let's go over the shortcuts and how to learn them quickly and easily. This is uh, something Photoshop has done that I'm very impressed with because it's simple and easy. Okay, the first shortcut on the tool menu is V. Now if you just highlight over the move tool, you'll see the V in parentheses. Okay, you can highlight over each tool and it will give you the shortcut for each tool. Now, I did not see one on the blur tool and there's probably maybe another one that doesn't have a shortcut. Okay. Now, when we go to the marquee and we hit M, we'll notice that if we keep pressing M, it will give us two selections. If we left click and continue to hold, we'll see that our rectangular marquee tool and our elliptical marquee tool have M's, which is our shortcut. So it's telling you the shortcut will toggle you through these two choices. If I select lasso, I can also right click to open up the options for lasso tool and we'll see that the shortcut will toggle us through all of the lasso selections and you can go down through here and get acquainted I think at this point you're ready to take off on your own with the shortcuts so let's get started with the marquee I'll select M and let's look at our menu up here. We have new selection, add to selection, subtract from selection, and intersect with selection. So we'll left click any point on the screen and drag. If we left click, it will disappear. Left click, drag. Now we can go in any direction we so choose. Okay, now if we want to add to that, okay, we want to make more than one selection, we just select the add to in the menu selection. And these will be the main four menu choices that you will be focusing on to begin with. Okay, just adding to the selections. And they don't have to be connected. They can be disconnected. Okay, now let's go to subtract from selection. Let's say I want a line coming through here. And another line coming through here. Another line. So I want a big line coming through here and another line coming through here. Then let's say I decide uh, oh, I just want to keep this section here or I'll cut that section out. Okay. Now let's go back. Let's just say I want to cut this section out. Okay. So let's say I want to backtrack a little bit. I'm like, nah, I can just go through my history. Okay, and get back to the point. Okay, I'm like, okay, let's go back to that right there. Okay, so that's just a little refresher course on using your history bar here. 
Now I have quite a few selections. So if I want to start over, I could go back to the new selection and left click. Okay. But say I want to keep adding two, I can also hit a shortcut. I can hit Command D and that will deselect and I can start over that way. Command D on Mac, Control D on Windows. Okay. That's the selection tool. Now we have the rectangular marquee tool and the elliptical tool. Same thing with each tool. Okay, just different shapes. So you can figure that out. Get some practice. We can also go back to our move tool, shortcut V. And if I click on my selection and move it, Okay, it will cut out uh, what I've done. Now, I've got the background as white as black. So when I cut this out, it's not showing you what I need to show you. So what I'm going to do is come over to this one to show you what's going on here. Okay, and I'm going to go to the Move tool, select V. Now I'm going to cut this out. Now you'll see the background is black. Okay. Now, see, it's doing the same thing here. You just, I, I didn't have my color scheme set up properly. Okay, I would like to point out a glitch, but this could just be the fact that I'm a beginner and I'm missing something. So, if you understand what I'm getting ready to show you and you know a way around what I'm getting ready to show you, uh, please post a comment. Now, let's, uh, let's do a new file. I want to go back to the black background. <clears throat> and I have the square marquee selected. Now I'm going to hold the shift key down and make my... Well, hold on. Excuse me. Let's try this again. I'm going to hold shift. I have to make sure it's set to new selection. Hold shift. I see no matter where I drag the mouse, okay, it's going to, to do a perfect square. Okay, all four sides will be, well, I let go. All four sides will be even as long as I hold the shift key down. Now, notice I'm, I'm holding, now if I let up the shift key, so you got to keep the shift key down. Okay, now here's the glitch. Shift key, I make a perfect square. Now when I hit the shift key again, it goes to the add to selection. So even though I'm holding the shift key down, I'm not getting the perfect square. Okay, and I can still get a perfect square, but it's a little bit hard. 1.306. I got it. It's just not as easy. Uh, so if I and if I go back to new selection, you know, uh, it's going to start over. So let's see, I see uh, new selection, hold shift. See, it automatically went back to add to when I hit the shift. See what I'm saying? So to go to new selection, if I hit shift, it's automatically going to go back over here. So to me, that's a glitch, okay? Maybe not that important. Depends on what you're doing, if you really miss that feature or not. And while we're here, I'm going to hit command D select. You would hit control D, or control D for Windows, command D for Mac. I'm going to go to the, uh, the elliptical. I'm just, I'm just curious here. I'm going to hit shift and hold it down. No. It doesn't work. I was just curious if it would draw a perfect circle. One more time just to make sure. Okay. So no, it doesn't work for the elliptical. And that wraps it up for this video. Sorry if I dragged it out a little too long towards the end there. Learning the software here. Hopefully that helped you. Stay tuned for... 4, video 4, part B.
Thanks for watching, and hey, please give me a thumbs up if you think this video helps you. Thank you.